Hello and welcome to Casual Mondays. I'm Bobby and Chase is here with me per usual. Chase, what is up? Oh, nothing much, Bobby. I'm I'm pretty excited. We get to come back to one of our favorite games that's come out. Well, it hasn't really come out this year, but it, yeah, it's we're, it's it's here. Yes, and it's still 2021. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, it's that's all I know. Uh, we're playing fights in tight spaces again. Uh, a couple of as we coined draft punks tonight with the the most recent update. Well, actually, the update pr prior to this one introduced the, the deck draft mode, but they added a bunch of new shit. Uh, on the, the eve of E3 and to celebrate E3 and to celebrate one of our favorite games as you mentioned you know what, let's just get back to some fights in tight spaces and uh, see what's all changing here what are you most excited for? Yeah, I mean, we, we are done fucking around with all these other silly games, let's get back to what, what really brought us what together made us. and that's that's fights in tight spaces uh, yeah, I, I'm excited I'm excited about the drafting mode because I, I just enjoy drafting games I, I really yep. like that kind of system i'm seeing here a difficulty option difficulty that select which was definitely not in before yeah uh, i'm interested in these bleeding mechanics that, that like there's a whole knife build that you can do now i guess if that we might see some of those in the deck draft mode but there is a whole deck a whole new pre-made deck that is all about using the knife and, and that sounds pretty cool the they changed up some of the stuff with the gangsters which i'm i'm really curious about that and i think there's some ui tweaks also I mean, it's been, yeah. what, four weeks, five weeks since we've played this game together? It's been, a, yeah, over a month. Yeah. Well, uh, Ground Shatter's been doing a great job keeping this up to date. Uh, just a few things to shout out that, we'll shout out James and what he's doing with his crew over there. Um, they got a full roadmap you can see at the bottom of the game screen here. Uh, you can check out their Discord. It's very active. You can find links to it on their Twitter, which is at Fights Game. Uh, also, uh, I think... I'm pretty sure that uh, the community manager on their Discord also has some sort of like game playing with like picking sides or gangs and stuff on there, which is really cool. Uh, definitely check that out. They've got also since the last time we played at Chase, they now have uh, an experimental build. So if you are somebody who is into this game, but also likes to break things and make things better for other people, they have a whole path now on Steam early access that you can get an experimental build of the game and work really closely with Ground Shatter on reporting bugs and things that you'd like to see implemented. Uh, so let's let's get them going and welcome back, nice. Jiggy. I hope you're ready to. Yeah, <laughs> I I tried to type hell yeah into the chat, um, but then I realized on my my work laptop that I'm using here uh, because I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game. This yeah, is me. Yeah, we, this, is, this is me. Let's talk about playing, that. Playing the game. Like, you haven't really played it, like only through me. Yeah. Yeah, and well, this is still through you in a way because we're parsecing this, right? So, uh, so I'm still technically playing your copy, but I I get to drive tonight, and that's that's pretty exciting for me. So uh, I'll uh, let me do I this here. But run this show. before yeah, I, go for it. before I hand you the keys to the car, I'm gonna make this uh, just slightly bigger for everybody. I I'm trying to remember the UI stuff. Like we'll probably be blocking some stuff with our images here, but. What needs to happen? The ass is being pushed. That's the most important thing. Yes. We'll be front and center here. Uh, Jiggy, we're going to push every ass in your honor tonight. And uh, all these asses yep. oh, will be good. pushed for you and you alone. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, Chase, you have the you have the keys. Let's, I do. Let's go ahead and fire this up and check out what's new. I'm so excited. And, and it's cool to sit back kind of and watch this game because I'm always really nervous. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, a couple things. One, uh, we'll also probably be chatting a little bit about more E three stuff. Yeah, as totally. we're doing this, because more stuff happened today. Well, maybe more stuff is a little generous. Not a heck of a lot happened today, uh, in terms of E three coverage. But we'll talk about what happened there, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I guess we have a big decision to make here first, though. We did we did title the the stream draft punks, so I think we're doing the deck deck draft mode. Am I correct? Yeah, I think we should check that out. Like we've talked about that for okay. a while. I definitely want to see what that's all about. Deck draft selected. Okay, now we also have some difficulty modes here, and uh, we'll see what we want here. Suave, I guess, is their easy mode in a in a way more relaxed. Uh, we get at least one movement card uh, from our deck will be drawn in each of our hands. That's nice. And we move first. 
Um, classic. These are the original difficulty settings, so that's probably what we're going to do. But uh, yep. it still has the movement thing, but enemies move first. Okay. Uh, special agent gets... Um, so we get a temporary step card if we don't get a movement card in our hand, but everything else seems to be the same. And then purists, we get zero assistance at all. Okay. Uh, how, how do you feel? I, I was thinking classic. Um, I think classic's the way to go. Um, okay. That feels... like part of me wants to play suave just to like know that I know that I'm getting the easiest experience. But do you want to do it? Let's put ourselves. Back out? No. Okay. No, no, no. Let's let's put ourselves on an even playing field here, uh, and let's let's just jump in. And uh, we'll go ahead and say it for the chat. And, and Jiggy, if you can do me a favor, if for whatever reason this all falls apart tonight with us being a new build and my computer crashes from it or something, uh, maybe just throw a message out in chat that we'll we'll be right back and get it fired up. Um, it should be okay though. Ooh, classic. All right, that was let's. Good. Uh, we've we've got our first uh, first big decision here. We need to select our reward. I don't remember this happening game. at the beginning of the last time we played. I think they just gave you one. Well, I think maybe this is part of the draft. This okay. could be part of the drafting. So we can get Tone Physique. We can gain five health every time. We skip a card reward. Okay. We can open up two additional enhancement slots. That seems pretty decent. Or gain a bonus move card each turn. I feel like that's the play. Don't so you? we've had bonus move before. It looks really good. Yeah. Tone Physique sounds interesting too, but I think bonus move is the way to go. I think bonus moves the way to go. All right, now let's get some uh, get some stuff here. Do we want dash, vault, or slip? I'm a big fan of slip. I'm usually a big fan of slip as well. Let's let's go with slip. Yeah. Shift, option play. I feel like option six play or a lot. that's and and vault. Yeah, I think option yeah, play. Yeah, that's, right? that's that's a good one for sure. Okay. Front kick, which we like, that that gets us a push. We like pushing. Uh, does Long strike. Do you think are they no. added? Did they add some more? Because they've they've redone the cards. They said like graphically, but it looks like maybe the mm -hmm. the stuff on the side is now it includes the action, the distance. Yeah, th there's I'm just there's some really nice UI stuff here for sure. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Uh, I'd have to com I'd have to compare. Uh, I, the card art definitely looks a little bit different, but I, I'd have to compare on on all these icons on the left, on the right side of things. Uh, so front kick, we know we like. Long strike is up to two tiles away, which is pretty good. Hammer fist, four plus our combo level, and is one to two. It, I don't think we can go wrong with any of these, yeah. but I like I like push. Yeah, push, push like is a big one. That was pushes obviously pushes ass has been a, a big thing for us here it's a, it's a casual hour oh we could get a second front kick if we wanted we could get a block or we could get a dash what do you think uh well let me ask you this are you wanting to play more defensive tonight or more offensive i i think matt gave us a really great uh encouragement here when he said we need to push all the asses let's go to the front kick then <laughs> A uh, long strike, shift, or panic dash. Panic at Discard the dash. Discard a random card. Mm. No. Mm. Okay. No. Uh, cost zero. We have to discard a random card, and we can move up to three tiles. I mean, that yeah. might be a, a good oh fuck card to have in the in the. Yeah. Matt's saying panic. All right, let's let's try panic in here. Taunt. We can force the enemy to attack immediately. And they won't attack on their turn. Slash. There's some bleed. Yeah. I like our bleed here. Apply two bleeding if damage is unblocked. Or redraw. Discard all cards in hand and draw the same amount. That's also really good. You get yourself yeah. a little and it Professor Oak action. It's mm. a freebie. Wow. It sounds like it sounds like uh, Jiggy here is the one who's really drafting the deck at this point. Jiggy wants but us to do it. Let's let's take a slash. I'll, I'll say by by the way, this is really fucking cool. <laughs> This is cool. Yeah. I, I like I yeah. like this this system here. And everything Cal te trips. technically is working for you okay with Parsec? You're good? So far. Yeah, okay. so far it seems seems nice. Awesome. The only thing is like the, the mouse is really tiny. <laughs> that was a problem for uh, me. I wish that's the feedback I've submitted to him is that the mouse they need to have a UI change on it that it this because it's this the system mouse. So it's gonna be yeah. really small because of the resolution on that monitor. Right, right. 
Sorry. Sense. Uh, so Caltrips applies one bleeding to all enemies and ignores block, which is nice. It does cost two, though. That's quite a bit. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, is that every enemy that would be out there would start to bleed? Mm hmm. But it's just one bleeding. So I don't know if that means they only bleed for one turn or if that's just yeah, one. We'll we have, have to a... learn the bleeding system a little bit for more. For sure. This block's 10. That's which a good, seems pretty good. That's a good block. That's a pretty good block. And then Heavy Strike costs two. We've, we've done this Deal before. 14. It does have a. One to two, one to two range. I, I think I kind of want this block. Yeah, go for yeah. it, man. Oh uh, yeah, uh, and Jiggy says block to be safe out of chat here. Wasn't that nice of him? Uh, counter we know is very good. Quick kick, we like. We, we love like a good quick kick. Dam damage and pushing. Yeah. Uh, or a quick strike that just does a solid eight damage. You know, I'm gonna go for uh, the, anything. Well, that counter is nice too, but we're not really going that route. I think the push with the quick kick, because we've got. Yeah. Uh, we can do that combo that we learned. Whoa! Big block! Holy shit. 22 block, pretty great. Body blow deals 6 damage and additional 10 to stun enemies. We don't have a way to... You know, Jiggy says body blow, but we don't have a way to stun enemies right now. So yeah. I'm going to make the executive decision to say, maybe not. Okay. Uh, separate, pretty good. That pushes in each direction and deals 4 damage. Yeah. That could be somewhat useful. I think that's a little situational. Um, yeah, I I kind of like big block. Hey, we're gonna be the big block on the big block if you know what I'm saying. I like I like big block. Um, so we've gotten that hammer fist before. Another big block or a vault. I think hammer fist. Is uh, yeah, I like hammer fist, especially with the uh, the combo there. Yeah. Dodge. Uh, charge. Charge four tiles and deal eight damage. We have a minimum of two range. That's not terrible. Jab, uh, deal three damage in game. We, we've imagine. used that's, a lot of that. That's a cheap, nice attack. Dodge, move one tile in any direction. Of course, enemies who were previously targeting the player to attack immediately. That's pretty solid. Let's I'm, go I'm back to dodge. Jab really and dodge. Uh, move one tile. Let me read dodge one more time. Oh, sorry. Uh, force enemies who were previously targeting the player to attack immediately. I I think that having the the free freebie of jab is important. I agree. Agree with that. Blood, Blood Fury. Fury. What the fuck? Add three bleeding to ourself, but we add three dom damage modifier, and then we have to remove it from play. That's that seems like a, a risk I'm not ready to take at the moment. Uh, grapple we've push, used before. True. Grapple, grapple kind of does some pushing. Yep. And then shove. That that's like literally just a push. Yep. Uh, well, it's not literally a push because there is a push card. So yeah. uh, a shove is. Not quite literally, but shove, I, as Jiggy says, is push adjacent. I think go shove. Yeah, for sure. And again, that's a free one versus the one point for, for grapple there. Sure. Flash powder. Chain, <laughs> change tack. We can move up to two tiles, and that has a combo meter to it. Yep. Interesting. Uh, flash powder. Pocket sand, I believe, is what it should be called. Pocket sand. Three damage tall standing enemies. That's really nice. Yep. Or a spiked stamp, we deal eight bleeding to an adjacent downed enemy. Uh, we have to have them down, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, pocket I sand, think, man. I think pocket sand. Uh, we'll have to, James, if you're watching this, uh, can we please call that pocket <laughs> sand instead of flash powder? Thank you. You're welcome. It's They, they probably can't, <laughs> but I'm going to say if there's a if there's a DLC where we can play as Dale Gribble, yeah. maybe, maybe that's a thought. Uh, okay, let's see. Jolt, we can up our combo level by two. We don't really need anything with the combo no. level right now. Recall, we can select a card from our discard pile and return it to our hand. That's pretty useful. Yeah. Or scratch, we can uh, deal four bleeding if attack is unblocked, which isn't, which seems pretty good too. Is that saying though that so scratch would not do any physical damage? It looks like with the fist having a zero there. Is that what right. I'm saying? So it's it's, yeah, it's it, solely a scratch. Jolt, they're saying yeah. Jolt sounds cool. I, I, kind, I kind of agree. I think Jolt sounds neat. Yeah, but we don't have anything to do with our combos. Right oh, now. Like, that's we don't right. Have, that's right. We don't have a combo. We don't have anything that we can spend that combo meter on. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking we kind of want something that's maybe a little bit more. And versatile. we've got some of these kick ass cards that we're going to be putting in our discard pile. So Recall would help out yeah. there, too. Recall, is, recall seems pretty good. Uh, I still want to see more of bleeding stuff. I think I'm going to go with Scratch, though. Okay. All right, that's our that's our thing. Ooh. Um, I don't think we need to do training anymore. I no. think we can just go right into the biker gang. Yeah, I I think. I mean, 
what they've what they've said in the past too, because we've unlocked everything up, and they just redid the gangster one. Um, if you start with death's hot, the, the death's head biker gang, you're going to get more of those boons for yeah. carrying over, and they really encourage you to play it that way. I'm fine if you want to hop directly into the gangsters, but I'm also cool well, with part people. of me. Part of me wants to because that's the They're new stuff, cool. but I, I I think for I, I think let's stick with what we know. This is my first time driving. Yeah, go for uh, it. It man. might it might be nice to have something uh, a little easier. And you know this this deck is literally not a standard one in the game. Uh, that's true. Maybe we tonight, depending on how things are going, we back out and we load up that new slasher deck and go fight some gangsters. We'll see what happens. We shall see. Uh, do you remember? story i yep. mean i know they they talked a little bit is this the same as we got before yeah you get a little bit of a rundown uh each time you go okay. into it all right let's uh you need to go pee no i'm good right now i was just looking over at um just trying to see what the the, the stream scene with our faces blocking stuff i think we're okay no, th Bob, Bobby. Bobby. oh sorry yes I do have Thank to pee. You. Let's go to the bathroom. All meet right, meet me to... in the bathroom. That's what she All said. Right. Thank strokes you. for you. <laughs> uh, chat, uh, I hope you're having a great night. I hope you're having fun on a post-E3. Chase is driving some fights in tight spaces. New content update with a drafted deck in the bathroom with bikers. Scary stuff. So we've got a biker here who will do a push kick. He will kick up to two tiles away. So if we get out of the way, he should attack this man right here, this thug, who does a short range punch. Short, uh, short range punch. I think it's alt. Let me let me see here really quick. Yeah, if you hold down alt chase, uh, I believe that's, you mean option. Yes, on your keyboard, uh, <laughs> that will pop up uh, everybody and see their move orders all at once. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. So we've got. We could just do a big block and not worry about any of this shit, but I think I think we're okay. I think so. This free movement we have to use immediately, don't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. We have we have to remove from hand. Uh, I think what I'd like to do here. Let me run through it with you. Yeah. I would like to front kick the biker. Okay. And because it's just going to slam him into the wall, so he's not going anywhere. Then I think I'd like to slash. Uh, probably the biker as well, and then hammer fist one of these guys, and then use our panic dash at the very end to just get out of the way. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the one behind you that has the range with one to two. Yeah. Uh, yep, if, he's gonna kick this other. Okay. Group. Yeah. No, okay. let's uh, let's, let's do that. Let's go for it. All right. Let's see if this works. A little front kick action nice. like that. Down ten. And then. Let's uh let's slash this boy too. Ooh, like that. And then let's hammer fist. Uh, he's already down to six. And he's gonna lose him, two, so right? Uh, we'll see. Uh, okay. yeah, I thought I thought no, the the slash I think would put four bleeding. Okay. So we'll we'll see how much that. Well, no, you're right. There is two on that. Hmm. We'll see. Um. So let's hammer fist the other guy. Okay. So we don't kill this man. And panic. Then let's panic. panic dash. Yes, let's he should. No, he won't get kicked. Should, right? Oh, right, because we're out of... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're... At... Okay, that's fine. We, we still had a very effective turn. Nope, there it is. We did do it. Oh, no, it did work. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So he's got four okay, left, he's... one bleed left. Yeah. Then this guy's got nine. We could... We could just slip. Wait, does slip go? Could we go? Yeah, we can slip between these guys and get out of their way if we need to. Good, good to know. Uh, we can shove. We can scratch again. We've got a quick kick and a front kick. Four damage. Six Welcome damage. back, Smurf. Hey, Smurf. Hope you're having a good night. Uh, how about? How about this? How about we quick kick our our biker over here? That'll that'll take care of him. Yeah. And then this guy's down to nine, so we can then scratch him and then front kick him to get him out of our way, and then maybe the bleed damage will take care. Of him. Yeah. I think that, that should work. We should we should see it end. Okay. Bye. Front kick. 
Oh, we didn't even look at the uh, the the challenges here. Defeat the enemies and uh, defeat the level in five turns. In five turns, yeah. Looks like we'll get money for that. And we've got another guy coming in. That's that that red mark is yep. on the left of that dude. So okay. I don't know what it would look like if you step over to his right. Could you shove him into that spot and see what that would do? Uh, that's I don't good. Know. That's, I don't know if we're gonna block thought. it. Yeah, I mean, screw it. Why not? Let's uh, let's give that a shot. See what that does. Um, and then well, we might as well just slip up. So that's free. Okay. Let's go with that. Some bleed. Um, maybe we just delayed it a turn because now it's coming. Now this enemy spawning on this other side. Um, let me ask Jiggy that. Jiggy, are you hearing us? Okay. There seems to be. I mean, it looks like things are coming out. Okay. Well, when, yeah, is that is okay. that uh the game sound? Is there any I, game I think music? I think it's all coming through. I think Smurf just had a little bit of a tech tech kick up there. Okay, cool. Because I have. I have the game muted on my end because I need to. No, 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 no. I don't you're, want to over the mic. Okay. Perfect. Um. All right. So we can just take this guy out with something like option play. Flash powder wouldn't quite do it, or I'd use flash powder. Um, we do What's this house? Like? He's though. at five. He's got yeah. three bleed. You could. Like we could op. We well, jab, jab, quick kick, and then uh, move back. Do you have that? Well, yeah, we'd have to use our option for that. That's but fine. That, I think that's I think that's the play. Yeah, we we jab, get the damage in. In fact, the bleed probably takes care of him next turn, but uh, that's that's fine. Let's do the quick kick. Oh, this mouse being so small. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's making it's making some of these. I, I know, cool. man. If you get stuck, let me know. Okay, so here's here's a question. If we move to this spot right now, yep. that enemy won't react as soon as he gets there. Right? Correct. Okay, so let's just move in front. But we're going to be in a nice spot to... I suppose uh, we can put up some blockade. Here. Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, we got some nice Good stuff here. Stuff. Uh, so this shove should be free, right? You yep. can just shove him into... That wall, that yep. door. And then... Okay. Front kick. And then... The door isn't... There's no exit like, on this door... one here. Yeah, there's no exit, so we can't just slip and front kick him out. I mean, we could anyway. Um, we probably will. So, no, Smurf, um, they did an update just before E3 happened. Uh, Ground Shatter put out a really cool package, so there's... Uh, the last update on the roadmap, they added a, a, a draft mode, so we drafted this deck uh, together, and we, we've got this built based off of what they were giving us from, like, three options for each round, and then they also added in uh, a new uh, deck that they built called Slasher, which lets you use knife moves, and they've also added in a bleed mechanic, so you're seeing us apply bleed a few times here, and they redid the gangsters, the Iconpletties. Uh, they've added a few other UI tweaks to it, so this is we're, we're firing it back up uh, in celebration of that that roadmap for them, but also just uh, with E3, we we've been covering a lot of that. We wanted to get back to one of our favorite games of the year with Fights and Tight Spaces. And Chase is just punishing. Uh, yeah, we we did okay here. Yeah, Chase is driving for the first time, also Smurf. So we're using Parsec, and he's able to uh, control what's going on here and, and play for the first time. So usually he's just telling me what to do. All right, okay, Chase. So we can get another quick kick, another shove, or another block. Um, what's the chat pick? Yeah, chat. What do you what do you like? Uh, Bobby, let me ask you this while while chat's thinking. Um, yeah. What did you see from today uh, from E3? Man, I had to work. And yeah. I was uh, chat saying shove, by the okay. way. Yes, um, did I. Right. Good shove. So I had to work, so I didn't really have to tune in. Um, I did, however, on my lunch break, fire up YouTube just to see what was happening. And uh, I got to tell you, I think I turned it on at the wrong time because mm -hmm. okay, uh, I think it was mythical was 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 on. I didn't watch that show at all. Uh, they're basically making an NFT video game that 
you're okay. you're you're basically a pop figure. Um, and man, uh, I'm quoting here. Uh, let me get the I'm quote pulled up here. They said at one point in time on stream, uh, you don't need to know what an NFT or blockchains are, just how to play video games. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm out. I am yeah. out. Uh, not, yeah. It was it was not great. Almost like having two guns pointed at you, Chase. What if I only had one gun pointed at me, Bobby? I'd say push his ass, Chase. Hell yeah! All right. This game rules. This game does rule. So, um, uh, oh, hang on. Siri's getting locked right? up. No, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Siri heard push his ass and got. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this panic dash and we'll we'll see. I'm hoping the hammer fist doesn't get taken away, but we'll we'll see. Uh, that's the one I that's the one I was okay with. Anybody who's we'll watching start. right now what we what we got going on there that that space uh, that has the skulls on it. That's an environmental insta kill. So if we can get any of these uh, jerks over there, we can knock them out right away. So no problem at all. Bobby Yes. It's time. It's time. Fly, pocket sand their asses, Chase. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's good. so good. That's good. So pocket that's sanded fun. three bleed on everybody, right? Uh, it's not. I don't think it's bleed, is it? No, it's just three damage. Three damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which isn't. It probably wasn't the best play to do there. But it, but it, it was. The we've been sitting on that card, and we needed it. Yeah. Um, um, oh, also, if you want to, Chase. Yeah. Your WASDs, I think, uh, moves or no Q and E. There you go. Q and E will move your camera okay. around okay. if you wanted to get a different angle. Of what's happening here in the fight? Okay. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I just want to move down here. Just get out of harm's way. Um, so, did did you get to watch anything that you actually did like? In the uh, no, I didn't. And let me. Uh, let me pull up what was on the schedule today while you, while you got that going here. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, I know that today was Capcom, and uh, I was excited to see, see more of the Monster Hunter news that they would have had. Yeah. Uh, I heard, though, that there wasn't a whole lot that they talked about today. No, uh, it was like, it was 30 minutes, and it was just real slight, and it was real kind of nothing, and that was disappointing. So we had Take Two today. Uh, we had Mythical. We had the Indie Showcase. We had Freedom Games. Uh, we had Capcom, and we had Razor. Um, and I did not watch really any of that today. And uh, I had to work, got home, had some dinner, played with the pups, and got everything ready to go here. So I'm a little, a little bit behind uh, on what was going on today. Let me see if I can find a recap. Guys at eight health. Uh, they're the first headline I see. Looking for a recap. E3 2021 Day Three recap. Sony in EA's absence is felt amid a quiet day. Yeah, I, I really wasn't that good of a day. Um, it was it was pretty disappointing, honestly. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that there hasn't been like a state of play or anything announced. I know they did the Horizon one. They might not have a whole lot to show right now, but I'm surprised Sony hasn't been doing their own shit. Uh, with all this. Ooh, we got a shot in him. Nice shot. I don't, know, I don't know why he took a shot, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it. So he's down to three, right? Down to three, and then this bigger guy's fifth. Twelve. Um, you did get to a combo five, so we're going to get the bonus here also. Um, let's what? see here. Smurf says in chat. Oh, oh that bonus. Nice. Sony not ready to admit they are just a publisher now, just saying. Uh, I mean, I think that the hardware is still going really hard for them, uh, but it certainly seems that with maybe some of the move to, to TV that they're doing with Uncharted and Last of Us right now, uh, there could be a, a draw for them for sure. Uh, I think the last thing we heard, well, we got to see Horizon and then Sony uh, delayed God of War, it sounds like, to 2022. 
Ratchet and Clank. Stop. Uh oh. What's up? What did you just do? The sand! <laughs> oh, you just sanded him? The sand is, the sand is too OP! <laughs> uh, let's see a, re uh, a re replay of that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so I only watched the the E3 Indie Showcase, which was a big bummer, uh, because it just didn't have much of anything. Yeah. And then I watched the Capcom thing, which also was much shorter than I expected it to be, and just didn't have a lot going on. They did show off uh, a new... Yeah, uh, I think it was a new trailer for Monster Hunter Stories 2, stuff that we hadn't seen in the previous trailers they showed. They did announce one piece of news that you uh, found and, and put in our group chat uh, that was... There's there's a trial version of that that comes out yeah. on the 25th, so very soon. And, uh, and your progress from that will transfer into the main game so pretty cool stuff that's pc uh, and switch I'm, that gets that right i believe so okay definitely the switch version but i believe the other one too uh we got to push here right uh yeah like, absolutely we're, we're we're out to push <laughs> pushing um so yes yeah, smurf, love to push smurf you're saying that they don't have a lot uh showing for their their something after this um yeah i can i can see that i think I think that they're doing just fine on their hardware stuff right now. I think PlayStation 5 has done remarkably well. Uh, even Stop. in... Uh-oh. What's up? Oh, push his ass? Oh, that's the so push. good. That the push is too good. I is think that a that, new camera angle? That's a new, I was going to say, that's a new camera angle. I like that overhead. Nice. That's nice. Uh, and then this guy's got his little crowbar action here. Um, pocket sand. Pocket sand. Uh, Jiggy and Smurf. Ratchet and Clank is really good. I have not put a lot of time into it, just with, again, not to make excuses, but with Puppy and E3 stuff, I've been a little preoccupied. But what I have played, uh, it is, it's something. They've done a really nice job. They got a great package put together with that. I'll tell you what else is really cool. The the, the Yuffie DLC for Final Fantasy is really, really good. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm looking forward to to playing that at some point here. Uh, I wish, I wish we got a little bit more information on what's next for that. Um, chat, I think that most of you know, you've been hanging out, uh, for, oh, cool. Um, Jiggy says that he's got, uh, cracking time to play first and we'll be doing a stream of that in the coming weeks. Hell yeah. That would be right. awesome. I, uh, I've never played Final Fantasy VII up until this remake, so I've never played the original one. Uh, apparently there's some, some pretty big shit that happens in that game that I still don't know about. So I've had to have Johnny and Chase kind of yep. vet all, like, hey, there's a news article I want to read about this. Can I read it? Because <laughs> here I am, almost 36. I've not, I don't know what this, I don't know what happens in this game. And so uh, I did try to play the, so I have the original one. I, I got it on my iPad and, um, it, it felt, without nostalgia for me, it was really hard to go back to a game that looked that way. And uh, that's that's what happened for me. Um, I, I have, I do have it for PC also, and apparently there's some nice mods that you can get uh, that make it look a lot better and, and do that there. But um, hang on a second, I missed something from Smurf here. Not discounting how their hardware is doing right now, but when Microsoft is integrating uh, cloud with its TVs, writing the sword on the wall, in my opinion, but also not great for the industry. Um, yeah, I mean, I get that for sure. I think that Game Pass, and you know, Chase, we talked about this yesterday on our recap of day two. Game Pass is just, it, it, it was hard to, to look away from before. It's now almost impossible. Yeah, no, I, I think that's fair. Dude, you just sent him flying. I did. Um, yeah, I guess we can just block. He's not going to do that much, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I think that's the play. Okay, all good. He, uh, chats want to know if you just Ryu and Ken that guy up into the air. Uh, yeah, but that slash, that's yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh my god! Whoa, <laughs> he got some distance on him. Oh my there you god, go. it's good. It's good. 
This is a good game. I like this game a lot. Um, yeah, I don't have my notes in front of me. I can go grab those super quick. But uh, the indie showcase didn't have much of anything that I that I particularly thought was cool. And then the uh, the Capcom thing, like all I really cared about was Monster Hunter Stories too. They they did off show off uh, some stuff that's coming to Rise that you know if you if you like Rise it seemed okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me grab my notes. I'll, I'll be right back. It's like literally right over there. Yeah. I'm, so as a Monster Hunter fan, um, it looks like they're going to be adding in a lot of crossover stuff, as Chase was mentioning. So if you have a save state of Monster Hunter Rise, when you load up Monster Hunter Stories 2, you're going to see a lot of stuff transfer over there. Excuse me. Uh, did you take any roids while we were away? Yes, lots of roids to get those people elevated um chase is getting his uh, notes pulled up yeah let, let me run down this stuff so in the indie showcase i didn't write down everything i just wrote down the things that interested me and i only wrote down two things if that tells do me. you want me to continue this uh, while you're doing that uh sure yeah you can you can do that not you um I, I found there was a game they showed off called life slide that seemed all right that's coming out august 6 on steam it is it's like somebody played Glider on on old Max and said, "What if I made that?" But it's an endless runner. I think it's an endless runner, uh, but it's a paper airplane endless runner where you're just going through that sounds uh, cool. all these crazy environments. It did look really really nice. Uh, and then there was another game called Fallen Aces, which I did see before. I think that might have been at the PC Game Show. It it is Doom, but as a as a gangster game. That has like a really stylish look to it. Uh, I thought that was that was pretty neat. Um, hey, so really those, quick, those Chase. Two... Um, yeah, yeah. We've got one hundred and forty dollars to spend here, pounds. Okay. Um, anything that you want to buy here? Should we go into upgrading? I think we should upgrade. Okay. I think upgrade's the way to go. And then... You want to take here? You can take back over. Okay. Yeah. Um... Oh, we have a heavy strike. When did we get a heavy strike? I just got it. Yeah, I just picked it up for okay. us. Um, if we upgrade this, what does it upgrade to do? Is there, does it show what the... Okay, yeah. yeah we'll six go. damage to all Six enemies. damage to everybody. That's pretty good. So that's 120. Uh, chat saying push level two. Push level two. Push Ooh, and yeah. deal some damage. Not bad. Not bad. But uh, like our push ends up being like our killer sometimes, depending on yeah. where we use it. So sometimes we don't need that damage. This front kick does 12 damage. It's pretty good. With push. Uh, quick kick. Could double its damage. Blocking. I think that would get it to 18 on the regular one. What is the big block? What do you think? you think it'll get to 30? 34. 36. 36! God, that's it's Way nuts. past our wild streams. Uh, this free jab getting 5 damage is pretty good. Yeah. Lots of good stuff. This option play, option play is honestly a really strong one. Doing an extra ten damage or only yeah. two tile. That's, that one's that's sixty. Solid. What was the only one we looked at that was eighty? Um, Do we have one that was eighty? Um, front kick maybe. Uh, slash is eighty. Eight damage and plus four, and it also becomes free. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that's, that's not pretty bad. good. It's not bad. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of good options here. Scratch to just doubles the bleed. Push. All right, which one? Slash going to free was really enticing. Slash going to free. Uh, we've used slash quite a bit. I, I'm. I think that's that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. And then we still got enough money that we might hang on to and, and do something else with later. Yeah, or if like we have to heal up or something. Is that a free slip? That would be a free slip. We could do. Yeah. I mean, we're full health. We're in the first run. I'd say, I'd say go for it. Yeah, screw it. Let's let's uh, upgrade our upgrade our slip card too. So you don't have digital notes, right? You just have your handwritten ones. No, I just have my handwritten notes. Okay. Um. So I thought the Fallen Aces looked pretty good too. Uh, Monster Hunter stories from Capcom. We knew. Uh, did you did you go back and watch any of the Monster Hunter Rise stuff they showed off? No. Okay. I, it just seemed like, hey, there's some costumes, there's some new events, uh, there's there's some new stuff coming relatively soon. And then 
Uh, I did really like what they showed of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Is it, those are, that's a new thing, are, right? Yes and no. Uh, it seems like those are games that never got translated here. Got it. But uh, they are they are nicer versions. They might it might be similar to the Famicom Detective Club, where they're getting kind of these re reversions. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. It's the, it's in the Phoenix Wright oeuvre, but uh, I. I think these games look really cool, like even better than than uh, Phoenix Wright games. Sure. I I feel like I should play a Phoenix Wright game for more than an hour, which is what I've done so far in my life before I play something like this. But the other part of me goes, ah, I just really want to play this instead. Uh, did you see what Jiggy just said in chat? Yeah. What do you think, Bobby? Uh, Smash pick. I mean, Groose. So, do I get do I get to pick my space that I start in? Uh, no. Is something is broken? It, is it? <laughs> did we break it? Um, click on the hamburger menu button up there. Go to the main menu. And let's load our game up. Hold that thought, Jiggy. This is uh, the pains of early access sometimes. Maybe he's found a bug. Maybe. Well, something that's been in the corner. Well, that's happening. Um, yeah, I I don't know. Who, who could we see? I, I could see another kind of traditional fighting game character show up. Like, I could see, you know, probably not Geese Howard since he already showed up in, in Tekken. But somebody somebody of Geese's caliber, I could, I could totally see in there. Uh, maybe, maybe even a virtual fighter character if they if they're trying to kind of bring back virtual fighter. I could see something like that. Um, I, I could still see a Monster Hunter thing happening. They they had Monster Hunter armor. This does not seem to. Yeah, be this is. Uh, look, I'm gonna take over for a second and see if I, I'm gonna yeah, quit the game out and bring it back in here. Okay. Um, yeah. While you do that, I'll I'll just keep spitballing here. Um, I could see. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, I think they could do something Monster Hunter wise because th they had armor before, but with all this Monster Hunter stuff that's that's happened on the Switch and has been a big deal for them, I could totally see them going like, oh, it's the the main character from Monster Hunter Stories Two, or or even the main character from Monster Hunter Stories One, Red, since he seems to be. A big character in, in uh, two as well. Okay, there you go. You fixed it, Bob. Um, I I don't think this will happen. But what I do want to see happen, uh, I want to go back to uh, Hyrule Warriors, and yeah. I want to see them bring Empa from Hyrule Hyrule Warriors into Smash. I think she would do really well there. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been asking for that one for sure. I I totally love it. If it just have her final smash be dropping that frog, God, dropping that frog is so dropping good. the frog would be amazing. Uh, let's see here. Use that free slash. God, that's great. So good. Um, they did something with Dragon Quest already, right? For Smash, is the the hero? Yeah, yeah. For... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the hero is yeah. uh, is in already. Uh, that was probably a necessary frog probably from Chron Chrono Trigger. Option. Hell yeah! That would be really cool. They would never do it, but that'd be so cool. Yeah, it's a big block. Oh man! Wow, that worked out better than I thought. Did you just see that shit? No. What happened? So I, I shoved the guy who was down. I shoved that guy in the line of the fo in line of the bullet, and I thought, oh, that was kind of a waste because it would have. I, I wanted that guy to shoot the guy with the flamethrower instead. Uh, that guy attacked first though and took the dude out, and then he stood in that spot. So then the the biker with the helmet here in the in the bottom, he punched him. For a little bit and then he got shot oh my god it was i'm a genius even when i didn't know i was a genius i'm a genius you don't have a whole <laughs> lot here besides scratch um 
Hey, go over, hover over Scratch really quick. I can't remember. Does that go through a block? It does not. Okay. Yeah, and both of these guys are blocking right here. Um, I what I could do, I could free movement up, scratch yeah. that guy, and then and then get out of there. I've got a block though. Um, well, so I could take one of these. But if you, there's no way to, you can't. I, you don't have enough moves to get fully around the welder and push him into the line of fire, do you? No, I don't believe I do. I could, well, potentially I could. Well, actually, no. If I use panic dash, I can't use free movement. Anymore. Um, so what I could do, I could throw down like flash powder, yeah, and then uh, move, uh, and then actually probably scratch. No, scratch wouldn't do anything. I could push somebody for no apparent reason. Eh, I don't know, because I, I could panic dash and get to this tile if I needed to. But maybe it would be better to move up. I think that's probably the Yeah, I think play. that's the move. If we move up, now we can do all sorts of stuff. We can scratch yep. this guy. Then, uh, like, Flash Powder is actually not going to do anything, really, because it's just three. These guys will block it already. They'll get a little bit more damage on him. Yeah. I guess that's what we do, because it's there's nothing else to do. And then we can panic dash out of his... You can push him. Yeah, pushing wouldn't have done us. No, you can push him into the I other guess guy. We, we can push, yeah, yeah, we can push this guy. I don't think it does anything for us. Yeah, I'd say so blocked down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it might have done a little bit of damage on this guy. Yeah. Okay, that works out. Oh man. Okay, like that. You got a front uh, kick, we, you could get him out of we there. Could, we could do that. But he could also just fire on this guy for us right now. Maybe we want to keep him in. Hmm. Uh you got six turns to get the bonus. You're feeling saucy. <laughs> yeah, maybe we maybe we do that. Maybe we slip. Maybe we just slip to the side and we just Keep front kicking this man. Just front kick front the kick. shit out of him. Shove him. Front kick. <laughs> Quick kick and a shove. Quick kick. <laughs> like we're just being a total dick to this guy. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I don't think it'll really do anything for us. He might actually push with his attack. Does he push? Well, I think that he's going to attack the guy in front of him. He charges. Yeah, he'll charge. Uh, it'll do 10 damage, it says, so it won't kill this guy, but it'll get him close. Yeah. The bleed actually might take him out. Uh, we'll see. And if it doesn't, he's just going to get shot for his trouble. I think that's a pretty good play. Oh! <laughs> okay. The bleed, yeah, the bleed no, did. man, I don't want to do this anymore. But, but, look at that shit. If I can get up there. Free movement. Uh, I can. I can. Free move up. Slip up. Uh, and then front kick out. Hit the bricks. Yes! See <laughs> Fuck him. God. This game's good. This is a great game. Have we mentioned that this is a great This is game? a good game. This is a good game, folks. You heard it here first. And then, uh, you can't front kick the air, can you? I mean, I've seen like it I done. Could, I, well, <laughs> it's not letting me front kick this tile to, like, move up to it. Which, that's okay. Mm. All right. We can shove him into the bar. What's his uh, block at? Five? Yeah, if we can get that down, we can, we can apply that bleed on him. Taste the bar a little bit. And I guess quick kick. Yeah. Now we can't. You can dash. Panic dash. We can panic dash up to him, but this slash actually would do enough damage. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And if and if that one accidentally gets discarded, we can still push him. Yeah, that's fine. So we can still push him away and he won't do any damage to us. So that works. Yeah. It's not what we wanted, but it yeah. works. Um, okay. Option will get his hell oh, we'll get him down to his health. Let's do that. Nice. And now we can scratch. Very cool. Now we can, we can just block his damage, but okay, bleed doesn't fully take him out. And now we'll just blocks back up, but still. 
Yeah, that's fine. We can. Oh, that hammer fist should do it though. Okay, so actually, yeah, hammer fist does. So that is something that we're getting from the combo level. Yep. That's not bad. Yep. And our combo is super high. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, and we're, I think that we've gotten a bonus on every one of these levels so far. Well, that's, you know, I'm driving, so obviously. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I just want to, I want to see this guy get front kicked out the, out the door. Hey, Bobby, um, this game rules. This game is really good. This game still rules. Uh, how you like, I like the dark mode quite a bit, actually. What are you, what are your thoughts there? Uh, I think it's nice. I, I think if I'm going to play this for a long time, I'd probably play it in dark mode. I think it shows maybe slightly better in the light mode. Yeah. But I, I yeah, I, this is something I would I would end up playing uh, in dark mode myself. God, it's so good. I love that camera angle too. Mm, it's great good stuff. Uh, yeah. So we. Jiggy's right. We this I, just needs to be on Switch. Look, Jiggy, when we had James on. From Ground yeah. Shatter playing this with us. Chase laid it on thick. He said, Look, I want that Switch version. Tell me something. He, he knows. He knows. Uh, previous Ground Shatter games have showed up on Switch. Rico has shown up on Switch. Yeah. I think the, the second Rico, uh, I forgot what, uh, is it Rico London, I believe? Yep. That's coming to Switch. Yep. So Ground Shatter games have come to Switch before. Maybe. We'll see. Um, moving past the target's pretty good. Yeah. Or just or just getting two move out of the deal is pretty decent. Combo counter, adding ten block, and then having that. We we've always had good luck with combo counters when we did that. It's a good uh, card. Defensive deck. Separates not bad. It does do some push. We like some push. I think shift might be the case. We get some more movement, and there have been cases where it'd be nice to just get behind somebody so we could do more pushing. Yeah, I, I agree. Think, uh, I think shift is where we need to go here. Now here's the big question, Bobby. We, I feel really good about our, our strengths. Yep. And we could just go into another fight, or we could do this event. We'll see. Uh, we don't really need medical, so we might just want to go back to the gym. You what know what think? I say? I, fight I, or you I say event, guys? gym, event. That's how I would roll it. You want to do event? Yeah. Okay. Try the event. We'll see. You suspect your suspect is escaping on a motorbike. Steal one for yourself and follow suit. Why not? How hard it could it be? We have a 66 per chance, 66 per chance, percent chance to add a random card, or a 33 percent chance to lose eight health. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Well, uh, or we if, call you, the cops. If, you, if you lose the health, you've got an option to heal right back up after this. Yeah, the the problem here is, uh, you know, it's a it's a random card. It might be something that's actually really terrible for us. So you say, just call the cops. Ah, let's roll the dice, right? Like, we're here to roll the dice. We're, we're streamers here. We're having fun. Let's do it. We oh. got counter grapple. All right. I don't know what that is. What is that? Can, uh, can you card? click on the card? There we go. There it is. Gain eight block. Move incoming attacking enemy to the opposite side. Oh, okay. Should be good. That's interesting. That's... Huh. Okay. That That is something that could potentially be useful for us. Uh, we got seventy. That's probably not enough to buy much of anything. You could you could, could increase your health. With oh you know, yeah, we have a we have a yeah. That might not be a bad idea. Um, chat. What do you think? I, I'm happy with any of these options. Do you want to fight? Do you want a gym? Or do you want a medical? If we did medical, we would just be upping our overall health by either. Eight yep. or four, I think. It's one of those those numbers. I don't even I don't think it's that much. I think it's I think it's less than that. I could be wrong. Um Yeah. Let me ask the eight. Well we got Nintendo Nintendo's coming tomorrow. That's yeah. that's good. We're excited about that for sure. Jiggy same gym. What's up, Jive? Okay with that. Let's go Jive's to the gym. Here. Good stuff. Let's go to the gym. Uh so we can add some stuff. We can add a taunt. Taunt's not bad. We can add another slash. We do love slash. Yeah, slash is uh, really good to us. Upgrading. Oh, we could upgrade. We could upgrade some stuff. Okay. Uh, what does this counter grapple get us? The counter grapple would be free, and we just gained 15 block. That's pretty solid. That's a, that's a nice nice pickup. I like that. Drive, um, how could we forget the table incident? And you just you, you came in a little late. We were just where the table incident uh, originated. Yeah, um, the table stuff quite good. 
drive this is really cool we got uh the, the update lets you do a, a draft mode so we drafted our own deck tonight for the stream and uh we're checking out this most recent update for him yeah we are we are mostly about pushing and kicking yep pushing okay. a lot of ass kick pushers, kick pushers over here uh all right i, I feel pretty good about or this. I, I, I did upgrade our ultimate punching <laughs> i did upgrade our uh our counter grapple okay to get that 15 block because that sounded fun for free uh, let's do this event. We can sweep for bugs and lose 50. We don't have that much money anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, I say let's just sweep it. Yeah, you think? You want to pay? Yeah. I, I wonder if it'll, if it'll even let us do this let's because we don't have a full amount of money. Okay. Okay. Hey, so we just joke's on you. We lost 30. We did find a bug, though, and we destroyed it. So maybe that was the right call. Yeah. Maybe. Not too uh, bad. Hopefully we get the, I think you're going to see Chonk here real soon, actually. Maybe. Uh, yeah, like four, four-ish things away. Let's get in there. Ooh, we got two environments here. Whoa, she's new. She is new. We'll take a look at her in a second. She's du she dual wielding here. Shotgun biker. And Oh, I like Cone. Yeah, like the, that comes really neat. Sawn off shotgun deals ten damage and pushes back all targets. Okay. okay. And then everybody else is people we faced before, bikers and and pistol thugs. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, wow, that's a okay. that's a nice uh, additional new character. It does seem it does seem all right. What if? Can't really push anybody anywhere. Why don't we just slip out of harm's way? Yeah. And then that'd be three damage. That'd be eleven damage with bleed. Oh, well, like, these are all free. Yeah, yeah, we might as well do this. Do them, load them up. This guy's just gonna get messed up. We might be able to take this guy out this turn. Jab him. Slash him. Uh, one of the things that we didn't talk about that really wasn't its own event today, but oh, nice job! They did show off uh, multiplayer, a little bit more in-depth multiplayer for Halo. Did you have a chance to see that? Ah, uh, no, I didn't see that. There's some cool stuff. One of the things that I thought was interesting is how they're approaching battle passes. So battle passes don't expire, no matter what the season is. So whenever you buy a battle pass, you have it until it's done. And I thought that that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, to bring that does sound it. nice. Yeah. Um, okay, Bobby, here's the question. Do I push her into this other guy's bullets? Or do I shove her to shoot both of those guys? Um, shove her. Yeah. Sorry, I, 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 I moved it around to get a better look here. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. You but the only thing, too, is... Like... Hang on a second. The place yeah. push... Oh, it's not going to push him out of there. I thought... Um, yeah, Jiggy, I thought that was a really cool thing that they were doing. Not not only that, but it's a free-to-play multiplayer now, as we talked about. That's that's a good. Uh, that's good. That's so fun. That's good. The game's great. Uh, so free-to-play, and it's cross-platform. I'd read somewhere uh, that there's maybe going to be some tweaking you can do on, like, playlists if you wanted to avoid being linked up from console or somebody on, on PC. Um, but... Pretty cool shit that's happening over there. Okay, so we could we're gonna we're gonna end up pushing her out of the way. Okay, that, no, that should be fine. We can we can front kick her. Okay. Now she's not gonna hit us. We can hammer fist her. And we should be fine. We're not going to get touched. We could. No, because we could. If we panic dash, we could end up losing our counter grapple, and that would, that would put us in a bad. What about uh, quick kick? Worth doing? Uh, it won't reach. Okay. Yeah. Front kick would. Quick kick won't. Um, and we wanted to use our front kick yeah. on her earlier because that did more damage. 
so this should be fine. Okay. So she's getting shot. She well, maybe. We'll see. We've we've always had weird stuff with that. You, um You got scratch, flash powder. Yeah. I mean we're we're going to slip to get actually you know what well, i think this is probably the play because she's she's got so much help here slip front kick flash powder free here and then i was going to slip to this other side okay and now we can we can do all this stuff so scratch first yep and then three damage to everybody i think we'd want to do the damage to her yeah She'll she'll do a little damage to her friend. Yeah, for and sure. And I think she I think she should get shot. I guess we might as well block just to have it. Yeah, she did get shot. Or no, was no, that the bleed? Just a bleed. No, that, that was the bleed. Okay. Uh, That's fine. Uh, shift shift's great. Yeah, if we if we shift and then we can quick kick yeah. her into the bullet path. That's probably that's probably the play. Take that. God, this, this, I, I don't want to be a broken record, Chase. I really don't, but no, I'm going to, no. I'm going to call it. This is like high, high, high up on my list of games I've played this year. It's so fucking good. I'm with you. It's going to get even better for us here. We're going to slip here. We're going to shove him. He can, he can keep hitting her too. Oh, <laughs> damn. Poor girl. <laughs> Poor girl got messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, front kick. Good stuff. Jiggy. Seven. Hammer fist does it. We got it. Look at that. Look at that shit. That was beautiful. This, that's pro play right there. Let's watch that again on the big board. Uh, Jiggy, we should hop on Discord and chat sometime about that. You mean Chase. Because we're, we're trying to get him on that PC train too. At least by November. Hey man, who knows? I might I might have already won one. I'll find out July something. Oh, that was such a good move. That was that, there there were a lot of good moves here. There were some good good things happening. Um One of the other things I just I, I guess like you know, not only talking about like E three changes, but uh a lot of you I think don't know that I I uh, I work retail, and so with the pandemic, my hours had been a lot different than what they normally were, um, and that's changing now that things are opening back up here where we're at. So I might be, we might be adjusting our our. <laughs> Sorry, Jive. I did not. I did not want to drop that bomb on you in chat this way without having a face to face conversation. Um, Big surprise. But we might be pushing our podcast back from 7.30 recordings to just being... It's easier for us to just saying, hey, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we, we stream at 10.30. And so um, 7.30's been an odd time for a lot of reasons, but we're, we're probably looking at maybe pushing back our podcast starting not this week, but the following uh, to 10.30 record time. Uh, so something, something to think about also for hanging out uh clown school I run a, I run a retail clown shop um that's really good too shit uh, there's so many good cards that's a good thing we we want them to have uh, good made, cards so i made a couple executive decisions there and i did an event uh i lost us five health but now we get a free upgrade to any card okay um this heavy strike it doesn't change anything except the the cost, the cost. Makes a one. That's a pretty That's solid a big one. thing to do. 14, 14 damage. It's real nice. Uh, um, we we do like flash powder here. We can make flash powder real good. Yeah. One other thing, uh, you know, we we're not we're not there yet, um, but been working on the back end a little bit, uh, and we're thinking about opening up our Discord uh and having a little bit of a space to hang out with everybody in, in between streams um because we really like i i have grown to 
love a lot of the conversations that we're having each week and tonight especially like i get to let chase drive and i can focus on chat a little bit more than i normally do uh yeah drive of course we wouldn't tell johnny we're not gonna tell johnny shit uh we'll let him show up at 7 30 to, to crickets this uh, is interesting we have we have nothing that'll do damage okay we don't have anything that, that counters right well you got slash that'll do damage Oh, that's true. We do have slash. Um, but these guys have auto attack. These these two up here. Um, so what I might do? They're only going to do five damage. Can you go that's back not, over that guy? Bad. Does he does he face you if you attack him? Uh, it says will auto attack. So if you shifted him, so I, well, we can't shift. Shift uh, shift would go past him, and we can't go through either of these guys. I, I think the play here is to use counter grapple. Yeah. And then block. Like we, we didn't we won't even need that. Counter grapple will be fine. Okay. And then we can slash one of them. We we'll probably just use the, the block anyway. Okay. I think that's I think that's the play. I, it's not really gonna help us that much. We're not actually really countering anybody. Right. But we can we can do that. That'll be fine. And Slash. Do you have preference? Which one should we slash? Let's we'll slash the the dude uh, right right there, the fir first one in the Same line of guy. people. Yep. Oh, in the line. Okay, yep. we could do that. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. And then we could actually let's do that. Let's shift up. Then we can. Oh, interesting. Huh. You, can, you can redraw and have an attack, potentially. Well, yeah, but he pushed us out of the way when we got in his face. I didn't yeah. know that's what they were going to do. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's keep the redraw. If we didn't, we can save it for something better. Um, Drive's asking a question. He says, so far from E3, what has surprised you and what has delighted you? Um, I think uh, Mario and Rabbids would have surprised us if it hadn't leaked yeah. right before it came out. That probably would have been something... We found we would have been pretty high on. Uh, I was really, really uh, excited last night. Talked a lot about replaced. Uh, replaced was a big one for me from the Microsoft showcase. I was very surprised by um, two things. One, uh, Forza coming out this year. I think that was a big surprise. And uh, two, same thing for the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Like I did not expect that to come out this year. And uh, that that Forza looked really good. Um, I think what else? Uh, Ooblets getting their their port update, port forward update dropped uh, during the wholesome direct. I was really I knew it was coming, but I was surprised that it dropped there. Um, I'm, I was delighted that, and I have it downloaded right now, but I haven't played it yet. That Sable is uh, has a demo. I think that's really cool. I want to check that game out a whole lot. Uh, I'm, I am surprised, not delighted, but I'm surprised that Halo has only said that it has a holiday release versus Starfield having an actual date. We talked about that yesterday as well. Um, those are some things that I, I definitely got excited about when I when I saw them for sure. Um, I, I was delighted overall uh by microsoft's presentation i think microsoft did a fantastic job of of saying what they needed to say and did a really nice nice job of this getting through their games there um when you zoom out for the rest of this year and even in the next year it, it really looks like you're getting some exclusive game like a, a like a pretty decent game every month and that's not to mention like all the other shit that's going to come to game pass and i i look at that from a value perspective so games are 70 bucks game pass is 15 roughly three months worth of game pass pays for a game so i or you can get about three games a year for the cost of game pass so i think that if you look at it from a value perspective they, they, they keep just nailing it there and uh that's that's some stuff there what about you did you have a chance to watch anything or did you have work going on where are you at with it all death store does look really cool uh, I think for me, the the big surprise 
was uh, I mean, not it's not big surprise, but it's a, it was a surprise to me was the Metal Slug Tactics. Yeah. That that was the one that didn't leak that came out of nowhere that I went, holy shit, that's that seems like a thing I'm into. So that was that was pretty big for me. Um, chat, I we haven't talked to you all about this. We've, we've mentioned it on our show a few times, but what's the percentage of Breath of the Wild content tomorrow? He's close. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. 14, he's at 21. What's your grapple placement? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move the mouse. Nice, okay. uh, nice jive. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Breath of the Wild is coming out this year, but I would like for them to maybe like even if it's another trailer like just show us another trailer i i'm curious if it's going to have a different name uh or if it's just gonna be breath of the wild 2. uh i really want to know what's going on there like i have a feeling that guy just straight up gave up he's like you know what i'm i'm, I'm good uh I'm, I'm done uh these heads up pop-up menus are really great in this game yes they are um, I don't think it was flashy. It wasn't a flashy thing, so I'm not going to show the replay, but we did well. Uh, oh, gets our combo up. But back to Breath of the Wild. I, I think that there might be... Um... That's really good. Hang on. Let me pick this. Let me pick these cards with Chase. Don't lose combo for movement this uh, turn. That's also pretty good. We liked, counter... we liked Jolt, and we oh, like Counter Throw. I think Counter Throw might be the play. Yeah. I've used Counter Throw on the defense build. It's awesome. Throws seem cool. Uh, uh, we can, we can just in, get a, we could increase our health. Yeah. If we just increase our health. Go for it. Yeah. Maybe not. Pretty good. Uh, low rule. That's what I'm trying to get to with, with Breath of the Wild, um, especially with how things buttoned up there. Like I would not be surprised in the slightest if we, if we saw a, a low rule deal. Uh, it's it's a very good game, Drive. It's something that you should check out. Uh, I mean, it's no Skyrim 10th anniversary, but it's certainly a very good video game as well. All right, Biker Boss. And we have Drive's favorite tables. True. No, no, uh... No doors. No doors. Uh, shit, we're actually not in a good spot. Um, nah, we're we'll, we'll fine. We're fine. We have the option to play that can get us out. So we need to free move first yep. to get out of this. And then we can use the option play to move out of the way. That's probably yeah. fine. Now we can jab. Now we can heavy strike. We could just redraw that heavy strike, but well, we'd have to discard. I, this would go away for the rest of the match. Oh, gotcha. And, okay. And maybe, maybe this is something we'd want again. I don't know. This guys at eight, we could just take him out. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's let's throw this. Let's use the redraw. Wait, did that? What do I? Can I redraw my heavy attack? Isn't that what that was supposed to do? Uh, I think so. Did I missed something there. Go back over redraw. I can't. It's gone, right? No, no. no. Oh. oh shit! It wasn't. That was that was the wrong card. It was a different card that does what we thought that yeah. goes to that discard pile. And because I used that other card, it doesn't matter. It's fine. We uh, okay. Uh, okay. Get off the discard pile. How do I? Uh, how do I get off? Well. Turn escape. No escape just gets to that. Click on one of them, see what happens. Can you click it all? I, I am clicking, yeah. Click, can you click on your deck down here? Yeah, that's no, not doing that. Hamburger, hamburger, help us. What happened? Uh, no, 
Well, let's, let's just go back to the main menu. Okay. I don't remember it having as many issues. It didn't. Um, yeah. I mean, this is certainly better. I think they've done some some great work to it to yeah. make this even more fun. A lot of these new cards look seem great. I love the bleeding stuff. That's awesome. Uh, but it does seem slightly less stable. I don't think I'm on the experimental path. I'll double check, but I don't think I opted into that. So let's free movement up to the gun guy. Yeah, yeah. Shift behind him. So now he's going to shoot his friend. And we can slash you. Nice. Good call. And we can scratch you. And... Hammer fist. Yeah. I think we I think we gain another momentum if we just push this guy, so that'll be some extra damage for Hammer Fist. Yep. Okay. We can do seven of this guy. Okay. Nice. That's pretty good. He's got eight lead on him. That's that's rough for that guy. Yeah, he's not in a good spot. Okay, so Front kicks. What's he at? He's a two, so flash powder would kill him. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's always fun. Um, but you do you need to do anything with your free movement? Do you have any other moves? You got you got panic yeah. dash. You can use that. True. But I'm trying to figure out where we want to move to. Uh, well, if you do your flash powder, you'll kill him. So you don't have to worry about that. So you can go back or forward. Yeah. How about we? How about we move up? And then we can use Flash Powder. Oops. That's great. I can uh, say it. Now we, now we can front kick this guy. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that would kill him. Perfect. That's even better. Um, and then, yeah, we might as well we might as well get up to this guy. Oh, right. Yeah. He turns to yeah. face us. Yeah. Fuck. That's yeah. my bad. That's my bad. That hurt. That yeah. hurt. That's 16 Shit. damage. That's a... Uh, that's not good. Okay. That's a that's a spicy meatball right there. Um. Okay. Well, we can we can attack him and then slip away. That's the thing we can do. Because he. What are the question marks there? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we can quick kick him. Actually, that'll just get him out of the way, so that'll be fine. Maybe maybe those question marks are, are how far he go for. Oh, he's gonna summon. That's what it means. Got it. Okay. That's what that means. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's let's look closer to the bar then. Just see what happens. Bring him in. Bring in the thugs. Hey, they got me pretty well cornered, but I've got to sleep. Um, yeah, slip through here, and heavy strike, shoot that guy, and then he's at 11, so let's put on counter throw. Good call, good call. I mean, it's not going to do anything for us, but I thought it would just do some extra damage. Let's uh, let's put the damage on this guy instead. Spread it out a little bit. Uh, Jiggy, I agree. I think that there is going to be some Zelda stuff. What I would like to see happen, um, I'd love to have that uh, those last HD remakes that came out for the Wii U with uh, Wind Waker and, and Twilight uh, Princess. I'd like to have those brought over to the to the Switch. But if they could do some sort of package like they did for Super Mario uh, for its anniversary. I'd like to, I'd like to see that too. Um, I I really like the story elements of like the lore of Skyward Sword, but I did not care for that. That, that might be one of my least favorite uh, entries, so I'm, I'm not too jazzed about that coming to the Switch. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think we'll get some Zelda news for sure. Uh, I think we'll see like a Zelda takeover of like eShop and things like that. But I don't think we're gonna get a ton on Breath of the Wild 2. Um, we'll see. Honestly, I, I, the thought of getting to play Wind Waker on my Switch is pretty exciting. I, I, I do love that game. Give you a little slash. We'll give you a little jab. A little rope a And then we'll just shove you over here to get her by your friend. Nice. Good, good stuff. Uh, oh, okay. You got shove. Yeah, I don't. Shove's not really gonna help us, I think, at the moment. Uh, this guy's at five. The other guy's at ten. Well, shove does four damage, right? If we pushed him into this wall. Yeah. I, we don't have push. We can't push him back into that guy. Got it. Like I think. Your option play would kill him. Yeah, I, I think it would, but I I kind of don't need to kill him at the moment, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like maybe we'll do... You've got one turn to complete the level for the bonus to heal you. Oh, that, that's not going to happen. I don't think we, can, we can't do enough damage to this guy. I mean, he's close, but he's not close enough, and we don't have a way to get up to him. We could, we could shove and kill this guy... Okay. And then option play to get up to him, but then we don't have anything to do damage. Like this will add more block and would move behind him when he attacks us, but that doesn't really help us. Yeah. I mean, we might as well. We might as well do that, right? Yeah. We just, we just shove this guy. Goodbye. Um well the option play is not gonna matter at all. So we can just put on the counter. Yeah. So he's Fair. gonna do one damage to us. Yeah, he'll do one damage to us. Ah, you know what? Screw that. We don't need to do any damage to us. We'll just, we'll just back up. <laughs> okay, now he's bloody. Now we're good. Now we can just finish him. Perfect. Front kick should do it. Yeah, I was hoping we'd have like a hammer fist that would be super powered up, but that'll work too. Nice. Sometimes the bar eats you. Yeah, man. Shit, that... we really, we really should have done that to get the help. It's a mess. Well, not bad. What's fast he'll anyway. do? Ooh. Number six health on completion of a fight. Ooh. That's pretty useful. Lean Decker gain. Okay, every time we skip, deep pockets. That's got to be fast game. heal, man. I think it's yeah. I think it heals the play. Um, how do you feel, Bobby? I feel like usually we've we've ended these things like right when we finished a, a thing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe let's do that. Let's let's. Why don't we chat a little bit longer? here yeah. uh, with, with some of our friends in chat, talk a little bit more about E3. I felt like I wasn't paying attention as much to chat and talking about stuff because yeah, I was uh, sure. was busy playing. And man, holy shit, this game is great. Uh, it's, it's even it's very, even better when I can when I can click the buttons. Like it's fun when you can click the buttons, but it's great when I click them. Absolutely. Um, let me let me do something really quick here. Um, well, give us one second here, and we'll we'll get this set up for some chats. You know how the, you know how they do it. Uh, you know what? Uh, while you're doing that, I watched the uh, we didn't I didn't watch it the night it happened, which uh, I think was yesterday. The Gearbox panel, or not panel, the the Gearbox stream. Um, I thought that was pretty bad. <laughs> What All made things you, considered. What made you th think that? Uh, let me close out of so, this game really quick. Okay, so part of it is is Wonderlands. I'm just still not jazzed about that. Also, they just showed the same trailer again, yeah. which was real lame. Uh, they did. There was a little bit of talking after it, but it was pretty lame to have uh, them just show the exact same trailer that we saw in a previous thing. It, but again, it doesn't matter because I don't care about that game. Right. Tiny team. Uh, the the real bad there were a couple real bad parts. One of them they kept showing, um, oh what is it called home, home world yeah home world, and but they wouldn't really like announce that there was a new home world, and they just kept doing these. They called it a slice of home world, and what, what is they that? just kind of 
Uh, it's a, I believe it's an RTS. It's a, it's a pretty beloved RTS on uh, space theme stuff in on PC that that people okay. are are big fan of. But uh, all they kept doing was just cutting in really s- slightly and doing here's like a slice of Homeworld, and it would just be, hey, did you know Homeworld won Game of the Year in two thousand blah 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 whatever. And then it was then they'd show like a tiny bit of footage from Homeland or home, I keep saying Homeland. Uh, Homeworld, Homeland. and then they would jump to jump to something else. And like this is dumb. They just they didn't have anything to announce with that, and it was very silly. But the worst, the worst thing they did, Randy Pitchford was there to take you around the set of the Borderlands movie. No, no, and it was incredible how awful it was. It was. It was very clear that nobody wanted him there because <laughs> he's just walking around. And it's also very clear that this wasn't planned in any way. It was amazing. Like, he's just there with the tiniest film crew that has bad lighting. Like, it, none of this seemed planned. And he's going around and like, oh, here, hey, there's Eli Roth. And he could talk to, talk to Eli about the, the movie that's being made and whatever. They had to to blur out or not blur out. They actually put like a, a, I think it was Tiny Tina, like a Tiny Tina concept art over the top of the girl who plays Tiny Tina because they haven't actually shown you what anybody's gonna look like in this movie. Oh, they haven't. And no, they they've shown silhouettes and they we know who's playing who. But okay. I imagine the reason that they are uh, keeping people in silhouette is they're going to do something with makeup or, or something to try to get that comic book style that the game has. If I, if I had to guess, um, so they're like, Oh, we can't show you that. Like that would be the one thing that we might want to know. And so he's just going around talking bullshit to producers and the director and just annoying everybody doesn't really talk to anybody of note until the very end where he comes back to be like, hey, that was a great show, right? And like, you don't know. You weren't even there for it. And then he's outside of this, uh, outside of a trailer and he knocks on the door and goes, hey, hey, Kevin, you mind if we talk? And and it, Kevin Hart opens the door because he's playing Roland, the uh, the soldier class from the original Borderlands. And I found him. He just he just said, yeah, here it is. God, in all its fucking glory. Uh, and Kevin Hart just does like a little bit of like, hey, yeah, you know, it's good to be here and good to be working on this project. And I have probably put more effort into it than you expect. And that's pretty much it. And just Randy Pitchford's over there going like, yeah, it's going to be great. Like, Get the fuck out of here. It was so, so lame and so bad. Oh, it, it was just painful. Oh, my God. The director of chaos. Um. Yeah. That's that's no no thanks. I I don't think I'd want to want to see that. By no, any, by it, it was real bad. The the one actually the one cool thing I did I did see from here, and I think it's about to happen relatively soon. Is they they showed one of the props, and uh, it gets a it is a it is one of the guns from Borderlands, and it's the the pistol that uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's the pistol that has the infinity symbol on it that oh, yeah. can that never reloads that just keeps shooting. I forgot what it's called. But uh, it might just be called like the Infinity or something. But they show you that that pistol prop, and they say they have a couple because one guy's supposed to be able to spin it, so they have a lighter one that he's able to spin. And uh, it it's you know it's whatever. There it is, and they're gonna they're gonna show a, a little graphic of it too. I was like, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Like, hey, movie props. It looks like the gun from Borderlands. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, like okay. And then the rest of this is just terrible. It's all just bad. It's so bad. That movie's going to be awful. I. Yeah, I. Which I, is incredible because it has an amazing cast. Like, Kate, Kate Blanchett's in this fucking movie. I like, know. that's. What is she doing? What is she doing here? Like, she. You, you deserve I, to be in better movies than this. Was, was Tiny Tina in the first Borderlands, though? I thought she was only in the second one. No. She started in the second one. So why is she so, in this yeah. one? Because because people, bad people, bad bad people who aren't in our chat and aren't us like Tiny Tina for unknown reasons, and that's why we're getting a new game starring her. That's why we got a DLC starring her, and that's why she's in this fucking movie. 
And and I feel bad for the poor child actress who is playing Tiny Tina. It's the girl from Logan. Has... I, I never saw Logan. Oh, okay. God. Logan's great. Um, Logan's very, very good. Uh, well, this poor girl now has to have her acting reputation tarnished with the, with the idea that she played Tiny Tina in the Borderlands movie. God. That poor girl. That poor woman. My God. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, Chase, let me pull up the, the old credits here. Yeah, go for it. Um, first of all, thank you for driving tonight. I thought that was really yeah, cool. No, thank, thanks for letting me have my hands on the wheel. Yeah, That's man. Cool. I enjoyed uh, that a lot. That game's great. We keep saying that. It's a, I think that we'll, we'll always have a spot for fights and tight spaces here on Casual Monday. So always be a seat at the table for that game. Uh, we'll continue to update as content drops happen for it. Um, we might even play a little bit more in between content drops. We know James is going to come back when they get closer to 1.0, and that'll be really cool to see where the game is when that happens. Uh, we talked earlier about uh, maybe switching up the recording time for the actual podcast. So just all of our shit would be at 1030. Uh, Monday not was, this Wednesday. Though. Not this, this Wednesday. Wednesday. Still, still going to be at the same time, seven thirty yeah. Central. Yeah. Uh, we'll be talk. We'll be talking about E three. You know, we we know we've been talking about E three stuff for the last few days now, but we have Nintendo stuff that we can talk about, and we'll talk about the show as a whole. And also, you haven't heard any of Johnny's opinions. Not yeah. that you care. Not that we care. Not that we care. But uh, he hasn't been able to say them, so we'll give him that forum to to mention that he thought Elden Ring was cool or whatever he's going to say. Uh. So yeah, and Chase is out of town this weekend, so Friday night we figured, out of respect for Chase, is the night that we'll fire up Monster Hunter again, and uh, see what's going on there. I haven't played it since some of the updates, and uh, want to check out and see what's happening while we. And Bobby, uh, you should you should check out the the stuff. I mean, I know the Capcom thing was pretty slight today, but they did show off. Here's a bunch of costumey eventy stuff that they're yeah, adding in for sure there's like a there's like a play dead emote that you can get now oh cool or soon i don't know so that might be a thing you want i don't know if that affects the actual fighting but that's a thing you can get uh no he does not he he, he does not um next friday though uh I, I think we've kind of talked about this but we'll talk about it again next friday we should i think we might be playing some mario golf on stream um, fingers crossed fingers crossed by next friday we'll be able to, to fire that up and then chase and i will put our heads together on what to play uh next monday uh following mm-hmm. on the weekend uh we're gonna also i put a tweet out today i don't know if anybody uh saw it come through but we are postponing recording quick looks this week as we're getting demos and stuff downloaded and kind of caught up in the e3 we, we typically record those on the weekend uh, so we took the weekend to, to focus more on E3 and what was happening there. So we'll get back to it and recording some some quick looks uh, here soon for some of these demos that are dropping. And yeah. and I've got some fun ones that that aren't demos that I've I've been meaning to get to at some point. They're they're not particularly new games, but they are yeah. things that I think are kind of cool. And I'm looking forward to showing some of that stuff to Bobby at some point here in the future. Uh, yeah, that that's that's kind of it. Good night, Jiggy. Hope you uh yeah. We're doing well. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. And then uh, let's chat PC stuff sometime soon. Uh, Chase, I will uh, I'll hit you up tomorrow, man. Sounds good. All right. Bye, everybody.